Bonjour! Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> Uh, today I'm taking you guys to one of our favorite, well, this is the only favorite barbecue spot we have here. The rest of the barbecue um, we love either on the East Coast or in the South. But one of my favorite, one of our favorite barbecue spots is um, here at Handy's in Burbank every uh, Saturday from, I believe, 9.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. They are out on the grill grilling this uh, delicious uh, barbecue. And we haven't been here in a while. We came here last week, but we got it from inside the store. So this time we're going to get it when it's cooked fresh. And another reason why I'm here is because when we went to get um the beef ribs for memorial day last week they ran out of course because it's a holiday so hoping they have some today so let's go and check out handy's market their barbecue the market is cute too oh you know what should i take them to the market too Eh, <laughs> she's not a fan of inside the market but i'll take you guys to get the barbecue and maybe we'll go inside the market let's go all right so here it is handy's the market we got uh what do we get we got a slab of my beef friends. My beef friends. I'm so excited about these. Let me we see got, them. I'm not, I'm not taking them out. I you didn't open them a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh this. my gosh. There she is. That's I'll show crazy. you more when we get home. Well, we got a slide of beef ribs and a slide of pork ribs. We'll, we'll need to see those. Um, because this is what we wanted to come here for. I'm so glad that I finally got my beef ribs. And we got the last one. We got the last one. We sure did. Because these are popular. You know it's LA. Not everybody eats pork like that out here. But um, we got the last, the last slab. No. Oh. People eat beef more than pork okay. out here fish more than anything um but we got the last beef rib and that's what happened last time because we came here around the same time and everything was like gone so so if you do decide to come here here's a little tea if you come here during the time when they are outside barbecuing from 9 30 a.m to 6 p.m on saturdays only on saturdays the um the ribs will be priced as the food will be priced as what you see on the menu i have it in the uh, video when i did um some footage of uh, the barbecue spot you get like the ribs were like $23 right however after 6 30 p.m. they take what's left Oop, got loud they take what's left from barbecue and all day what has not sold they take it into the store where the butcher is and they sell it by the pound because it's basically whatever is left over so if you buy it from handy's market while they're barbecuing between the time between the time of 9 30 a.m. to 6 30 p.m. On Saturday, it will be the price as shown on their menu. If you buy it after that time, because Handy closes at 8.30 p.m., if you buy the meat or whatever you want to get from their barbecue spot, their barbecue pit, after 6.30 p.m., it will be in the butcher's spot section, wherever, and it will be by the pound. So that's where the price change. Um, the, there's a set price when you buy it while they're barbecuing, and then there's another price um, when you buy it from the butcher and that will be by pound. So that's a little bit of tea. So don't be like, well, Nikki told me that it was $23 because I saw on the menu. If you bought it from inside, from the butcher, it's uh, by the pound. But I'm and happy. it's generally it cheaper. Hold on, because mama, mama want to get in on this. Yeah, it's generally, <laughs> oh. and it's, ge oh, it's generally cheaper. Wait, wait, mama, I can't see you. Hold on, hold on. Because you just want to. And it's generally. No, I didn't oh. say go. <laughs> Sit up. And it's here. generally cheaper after uh, six thirty when they tape it, take it inside. It's cheaper. Yeah. So um, they weigh it, but it's cheaper. Last week when I got it, it was much cheaper, but uh, we got it fresh off the grill today. So it's the regular prices that um, Nikki showed you. Okay. You <laughs> so you know that she hot about that. <laughs> Yes, because I, I asked the girl, I said, well, where's the different price? She was like, I don't, they were a different price last week. Yeah. Ma'am, you're getting it fresh off the grill. This is the price. I got my beef ribs. I'm happy. 
let's go to our next destination. Yes. See, <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> See you guys. So we originally came here uh, to Bloomings to um, just get a little, um, little bit of yogurt, but I had to take medication so we got something to eat. Normally I don't eat at that cafe, no shade. The food is just not good. It's very, um, it's, just, it's not assistant living. It's convalescent home, derogatory. You know, it's very like, no, no, not convalescent. I'm not thinking, very old folks home. I don't know what the proper term is, and I hope I'm not being um, rude. I, I don't think I am. But very like, you know, not well seasoned. <laughs> oh God, 59th and likes, I'm sorry, I love you guys. But the yogurt is good. That's what I wanted to say. Like, we don't normally eat here. I've, I've had the food a few times, and it just didn't wow me. But I love their yogurt. And if you ever come here and you do get the yogurt, just get a regular. The large, I feel like it's too much for anybody. But um, yeah, so we did that. And I always have to come here and look around because they have a great Mackenzie Childs uh, section. Like they have like all of her latest stuff. They have that out. Oh, let me move away from the music. They have like her latest stuff out. I love the Ralph uh, Lauren collection um, sleepwear that they have up here. Um, and there's another thing that I wanted to look at. Oh, Lee Crusette! They, they're Lee Crusette section. I love it over there as well. So I'm going to check out the McKenzie Child section. Um, and then, oh, Villaroy and Bach. I might look at that too. And then I'll, you know, get the Lee Crusette and then we'll head on out. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster. Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm a- Oh my gosh, look at this uh, I'm still just gonna start with a uh black and white blue check but I'm definitely going to get um, into the blue check oh yeah that's nice that's happening oh Mackenzie they have a lot more hair than the last time I was here so I stopped by here earlier but I just had to see this up close and personal this is the Dolce & Gabbana Smeg uh, collab juicer a citrus juicer and I didn't know this but they also have a um uh, a blender. I didn't know about that. I just knew about the citrus uh, juicer. Interesting. And this is why people love Bloomies, right? Because 
the Lee Crusat Marble Collection, you can't find it anywhere, but you can find it in Bloomingdale's. And you can find more pieces. I'm getting this, but I'm getting this in the flame. I'm getting, this is the bread uh, baker. I'm getting that in flame. Speaking of flame, she's so pretty. This is part of my collection, not the full. But here's the brazier. It's a, a round dutch. Here are the pans. Oh, they have it in blue as well. Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This right here, that's a situation. That's a situation. Well, I tell you that I love these candles and I'm gonna be real with you. I love the look of these candles. I am still very disappointed in the uh, peppermint candle. So I'm not gonna get that, y'all. You guys know that was my dream. Same price as it was in, um Oh, at the um, candle, yeah, candle place in, um, where is that? Right next to Laura Hardware. But I love the look of these candles. I think it's gonna be cheaper here, Mom. Because at least with here, you have sales. That candle, that, that other candle place does not have sales. But I just, ugh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the big peppermint candle. Because you guys know that was my dream to put on my um, kitchen countertop. But it just smells like nothing! I'm so disappointed. Why did I scream? Chill. Let me get out of here. Mom, I am filming. <laughs> Send that to the girls. Um, so we are back home. I'm telling you, we didn't go a lot of places today, but I'm exhausted. I just feel like I've been all over town. I think it's because we did not go a lot of places, but we were traveling to those places normally i stay within my neighborhood but we were in burbank in glendale studio city like we were we were all over the place uh today and tomorrow we're going to be all um over the place but anyway i'm back home i am i stopped before i got home i stopped by uh, trader joe's and i got the y'all know i love the, that vegetable pack that trader joe's has it comes with the zucchini broccoli and string beans i believe and i think peas i can do without the peas but it's still really really good full of greens you know a girl's gotta build up her iron a uh, steak can't always do the trick so yeah i got that and i'm gonna have that later with my beef ribs for dinner i think now what i'm going to do is catch up on the boys um the boys season three i believe yeah season three uh came, came out premiered pre came out premiered premiered uh last night on uh amazon so i'm gonna catch up on some episodes of that before um, I make uh, the sides for dinner. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Oh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what happened to me when I was um I was at Bloomingdale's. Um, this really nice lady helped my mother and I and Mackenzie Childs. But I don't know if maybe I'm not like the demographic, or maybe I um look too young to be um a Mackenzie Childs. <laughs> Um, oh, <laughs> maybe that's it. But she was like, when we were talking, when she came over, she came like right to my mom and she was like asking my mom about all the McKenzie Child stuff. And my mom was like, no, she's the collector. <laughs> her, not me. This is all for her. And she's like, oh, oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> so I guess, you know, I don't look like I'm, and not, I'm not saying it's because of skin. I, I think it's just because, you know, um, my baby face. Cause she was just like all into my mom. And I'm like, oh no, I, it's, it's me. I'm the one obsessed with Mackenzie Childs. But anyway, I was really happy that um, my local Bloomingdale's um, is getting a bit more of the collection in because at first they were just getting in like a teapot and a plate. Now they have a bit more of her collection and they're going to be getting in more stuff. So hopefully by, you know, at least probably August or so, the fall stuff will be in and they'll probably have the full collection of Mackenzie Childs and I can order it then. But right now they just didn't have everything that I wanted and I just want to get it all in one swoop because I'm a Bloomingdale's uh, loyalty member so I get great points. And also I just want to have the collection all at once because you guys know I want to use that for um, the fall, for the fall holidays and then switch it up for Christmas. But yeah, <laughs> that was my little fun little experience. And also guys, let me, I'm telling you, Bloomingdale's always has the latest Lee Crusade. I'm telling you, that marble collection, you cannot find it anywhere. 
anywhere, but you can find Dudley Crusette. If I liked it like that, I would have gotten it. I'm still trying to get the olive branch, uh, Lee Crusette. <laughs> I'm still trying to get that. And I'm trying to get uh, the olive colored Lee Crusette collection. And I'm still trying to finish uh, my flame collection. I got a lot going on with uh, La Crusette. La Crusade. But yeah, that's my uh, day and evening. I think I'll just wrap up uh, this portion of the vlog for dinner. And then um, I'll see you guys in the morning for the Brentwood Farmer's Market. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. I think I went to the Brentwood's, the Brentwood Farmer's Market once and it was a scene. It was a scene. I hope it's gotten better. <laughs> um, and, and not worse, right? Because I haven't been in such a long time and I really enjoyed myself the last time I was there. So I'm hoping that, you know, it's only gotten better. If not, I don't know if I'll vlog that for you. You know what? No, let me show you. I'll show you everything. The good and the bad. The good and the bad. Anyway, let's watch the boys. Anyway, bonjour. Um, on my way to the Brentwood's, Brentwood? Yeah. Brentwood uh, Farmer's Market. Brought my mama. <laughs> hey, princess. <laughs> so adorable. Um, anyway, came down here because y'all know that that, that swirl hasi, hasai bread that I got, I forgot to order it. And you have to order it like before Thursday. Like Thursday is the deadline. But I fell asleep and I forgot to order it. So now I had to come here and pick it up. And I also wanted to check out the Brentwood. The Brentwood uh, so Farmer's did I. Market. So did Mama. Because um, I've been to all the other ones. But this is a new one. So, for me. So we're going to check this one out. Right off grip, the parking is a mess. Right off grip. Um, I would say do North Hollywood. But, you know, um, it's a little, little dangerous in that area right now. So, we're going to try this one and see not quite sure if i'm going to fall in love it's still early it's still early we will see uh, the parking was a bit of a turn off but welcome to la anyway let's get on in this market if you want to oh honey watermelon where that's a popsicle. Oh, that'd be nice to get. Therapy for your head. Cute. Cute. I want to get to the food. Oh, okay. What's up, sis? What's up, sis? Black woman at work. Black woman at work. And here we are. I've been all over. Finally found it. I don't have my cookies. Where's my cookies? Oh, I got my bread. I got my bread. This time I got, uh, what is it, Mom? Rosemary. Olive and rosemary. Olive. Olive and rosemary. Black olive and oat, uh, rosemary. I got a different flavor. I normally get plain. This is the last one. The, I'm telling you, child, I am I am at the last minute. I'm getting like the last of everything. Like it's just, it just, not the last of everything. It's like it's being held for me. Because when I walked in there, we walked by it. I didn't mm -hmm. see it. 
I didn't see it right away. Um, so I was just like, oh my gosh, maybe they're not here. And then we walked on the other side and we were able to um, see them. And he was like, this is my last olive and uh, rosemary. But you know, it was cute. The uh, farmer's market um, was cute. We got a smoothie. I got the, what is this? Vitality. Mm -hmm. It is almond, almond butter, dates, and banana. It's really, really, really thick. And they're pre-made. If you're going to get a smoothie from there, um, they're pre-made, which is pretty good. Pretty you know. good, but it's like, you know, you want them. Hold on. Let me get mama in here. Yeah. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> I think it's pretty good because, you know, you think of... Um, you think of farmer's market, there's nowhere to really plug stuff and all of that. So, mm -hmm. to be able to... Um, oh, let me focus in on you because it's trying to focus on me. Go ahead. To be able to, um, you know, sell it quickly and all of that and for it to be ready so people won't have to wait all day. Yeah. I think that was pretty good. I got the, um, what was mine called? Vitality? Luminous, I think. No. No, was... I got Vitality. I think oh. you got... He said we had... Vitality and luminous, and you, it was. I got the blue one. Yeah, she got the blue one. It was. Um, oh, it was so good. It was. She it was loved it. So good. Oh it was goodness. blue spirulina. Pineapple? Was it pineapple? <sighs> Whatever. It was good. I was going to get that one, but the blue spirulina, because he can't like make it on the spot, it had turned the smoothie gray. So, you know, you know, I like pretty stuff, you know, no matter what it is. My food, you know, my food yesterday was not pretty, but you know, <laughs> um, the ribs were pretty, but not the, um, the 59th and Lex food. But anyway, I just could not stomach that. Um, but my mom enjoyed it and I got this one, which is a bit sweet. It has cacao nibs in it too. It's a bit sweet, but you know. Well, mine's wasn't Good. sweet at all, and they were, they're vegan. Yes, vegan. They're vegan smoothies. Vegan. No added sugar. I will yeah. say that. So they didn't add anything to this. It was just, you know, when you mix bananas and dates, it's a little and sweet. And plus you have uh, a cinnamon stick. Uh, yes, yes, yes. My cinnamon stick. My cinnamon stick. So here are the pros and the cons of the Brentwood Farmer's Market. I'm going to first start with, you know, the praises, the, the things that I really enjoyed. Diversity, um, not in culture <laughs> and the people. It's Brentwood, let's be real. But I'm talking about diversity and um, the selection of what was available. This is more of a food kind of place. Um, if you're looking to get anything, like if you're looking, if you're looking to get like clothing and jewelry, there were like a few places, but this farmer's market is mainly like food, like fruits, vegetables, raw honey, um, breads, um, pupusas, a lot of uh, Greek and Mediterranean food, a lot of uh, fresh caught fish, things like that, then that's the place where you would go. I will say they have, um, I love the diversity. I love the quality of everything, diversity and quality very great um very great to have in a farmer's market because you just you want to you as somebody who is selling to customers out there you want to have a good qu good quality food so, so that people can continue to either come back or go and find you like i did with my hasi bread um so the diversity and the quality absolutely um chef's kiss another thing that um did i like anything else i thought it was just those two things just to try, you know, and just to try the hot foods. I just wasn't in the mood for it, but I would come back because, you know, walking through that place, it smelled delicious. The cons, the parking. Parking is crazy. This farmer's market is on a really busy street. I don't know what the street is called. Montana. It's on Montana. It's, it's on a really, really, really uh, busy street. So the parking is ridiculous. And then if you're not parking on Montana, you have to park in the neighborhoods and everything is permitted. So that is the con. It is congested. It is not a lot of parking. And especially if you're coming here at like a prime hour, a prime hours, it's not the best. I would say either come when they first open and that's all. I wouldn't say when they're closing because a lot of people start to leave when it gets um, time to for them to wrap up. It's from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I would say if you can get here at 9 a.m., get here at 9 a.m., get what you need and get out because it's just far too congested. This isn't a negative, right? Because I know where I'm at. I will say if you are not from here and you are coming down to the Brentwood Farmer's Market, it's 
expensive. You're in Brentwood, they can charge that because the people who live here will pay that. That is, um, it's not a negative for me, but that's just something where it's just like, oh, I would not pay this if I was at the NoHo Farmer's Market, right? But I will also have to duck and dodge bullets. So you get what you get. That's pretty much it. I will definitely come back again just to try the food. Other than that, I had a, I had a good time. The, the parking was crazy. The pricing, Brentwood pricing. Oh, another thing. It was tight. It was tight. That was um, that that was an issue for me. It was like you got to stop and walk, and like when you're trying to pay, you got to move to the side. It it was tight because they, you know, this farmers market does attract a lot of people. When I do come back, I'm coming when they first open, so it's hopefully to avoid the crowds and the crazy um, parking. But it was cute. It was cute. I will say, it does kind of rival Studio City. Out of those two, the Studio City Farmers Market and the Brentwood uh, Farmers Market, I would just give it to the Brentwood Farmers Market because of the diversity and uh, the quality. Like everything was just superb. But the Studio City Farmers Market, that's my girl. Like I've been going to her for years. So there you have it. That's my opinion. What do you think, Mama? Do you have an opinion? Yeah. The um, you talked about it being tight. I think it was because of the hour. Yeah that you know so many people were coming before it closed mm -hmm. but um you know i enjoyed walking through you know uh seeing what they had uh to offer cons um my cons uh, is the parking as well mm -hmm. uh people weren't so nice when you're trying to find a parking space well it's probably the people who, that live here that yeah, is sick of the farmer's yeah, market traffic. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Um, so, I didn't But it really was just a parking, but you know what? I We had to park far away, and we had to walk. I didn't mind the walk. The walk mm -hmm. wasn't hard. It was um, a good walk. So, so basically, you're, you're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. All right. I saw what they had. And, and you um, liked it. I want to come back and yeah. I want to come back and try their fish. We saw a lot of, like, fresh, you know, caught fish that just looked delicious that is something i want to come back for yeah. all right let's get to our next destination bye so um, i did not mean to bring you in my mouth like that remember um i think it was like two or three vlogs ago where uh, my mom and i was going to mr charlie's and we um stopped by the furniture place that i had been looking at online while we were in that store the guy that was helping us said oh we have a bigger um store in sherman oaks you should go showroom. check that out a showroom a bigger showroom in sherman oaks you should go check that out because they have a lot more stuff and you'll probably be, you'll probably be able to find your bed there so uh we're here we're here this is just the back of it i'll take you guys into the front but yeah so hopefully i can find my bed if not you know hopefully we can find something um cute to go into the home because they ship everywhere and they have this stuff in stock here so that makes us feel a bit more confident about um you know purchasing from them because they do have the things that we need now like you guys know my uh, furniture struggle so yeah hopefully hopefully we leave here with a sale we will see <laughs> girl it is hot okay it is hot in LA finally which is why I haven't put on my air um, and also because gas is hella expensive and I'm not trying to waste on air if I don't have to but I would have if this is not like the first time that LA has been hot since I um, since I've been here for like almost two months so I'm, I'm gonna let it slide I'm gonna let myself get a little you know a little, little, little perspired you know what? I'm going to give you two seconds to guess. Guess where I'm at. Guess where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at Costco. <laughs> I'm at my corner store at Costco, but it's Sunday and Costco is crazy. Like I only go to Costco um, during the weekdays. If I have to go on Saturday or Sunday, I go when they first open 
my mom uh, wanted to come here because she's making curry chicken tomorrow. We, we still have our barbecue from Handy's that we're going to have tonight for dinner. But tomorrow, um, she's making a curry chicken with um, probably quinoa because they're trying to cut out, you know, the starches. Um, is quinoa a starch? Is quinoa a starch? Siri! Siri! Can I just call her? I thought I had her own prop. Where the heck at? Siri! Siri! Riri! How do I call her? Is it like this? This is, you know what's so crazy about this? Siri! Siri! You know what's so crazy about Siri? Any other time when I'm not calling her, she be in my business. But when I'm calling her, I can't find her. I cannot find her. Um, can't find a heifer. Siri! Can't find a heifer, so I'm just gonna look it up myself. Um, is quinoa a starch? Starch is the main component. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, is, is quinoa better for you than rice? Quinoa is rich in both fiber and protein, contains a much higher amount of nutrients, and has a similar and has a similar fluffy texture to the rice. A cup of quinoa, quinoa contains twice more protein and more fiber than white rice. I'm gonna do my research because we were just we were gonna do quinoa because we thought it was better than rice, but I'm not sure. It's either gonna be brown rice, brown rice or quinoa. We'll decide tomorrow because that's for dinner for tomorrow. But she wanted to get the chicken from here. We absolutely could have got the chicken tomorrow oh but she wanted to season it she wanted to season it and let it marinate anyway that's why we're here i don't go into a costco on a saturday afternoon on a sunday afternoon a saturday afternoon as well saturday afternoon sunday afternoon absolutely not you and i catch me in a costco so um as soon as she calls me i'm gonna just go pick her up because there's no parking i'm like i'm parked in the costco parking area that i've never parked in before because i never come here during during prime hours never never so i always get parking like right in the front this parking they got me in a boondocks like where is this at thank god i'm recording so so yeah i'm gonna wait for her and then um when she calls me i'm gonna go pick her up and then we're gonna Go home. Uh, it's Sunday. I don't need to be out in these streets like that. Go home and eat our Handy's Market barbecue. I will say the ribs weren't hitting like they normally were hitting. Maybe it's because I changed my diet and like food. I don't know. Or could it be Covisha? Could it be Covisha 19? Because a lot of foods that I used to eat before I got Covisha just are not hitting like they used to. I don't know. But the barbecue sauce... Magnifique. Why am I starting to do this all of a sudden? If you watch my vlogs, I this is new for me. Mwah, chef's kiss. Mwah, magnifique. What the hell? What's going on? I'll see you guys at home. Uh, it's early enough and it's warm enough for me to dine on the rooftop. Um, so that's what I'm probably going to do. Have my uh, my early dinner, my early uh, beef ribs on the rooftop. So I will see you there. Bye, guys. Girl. Girl. This is what's left of my ribs from the uh, Handy's. Let's put them in the air fryer um, on reheat for like four or so minutes. And I'm um, next. Why did I do that? Ow, 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 ow. I just, I just, oh, I need to just see this. I need to just see this. So good. So good. So good. About the titties up. With my barbecue sauce. Ew. With my barbecue sauce. Ew. With my. Oh. Focus with well, my barbecue, 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 barbecue sauce from handy. It's delicious. Delicious. Let's tear these up. I'm late to meet my bestie. Uh, you know him as the king of TikTok. We're meeting today because he's putting me in TikTok boot camp because he is disappointed that I am not on TikTok because he thinks that that place is a place where I will thrive. So I'm going to go meet him now and we're going to um, start day one of TikTok boot camp. Pray for me. Here's this one. No, this That's one. my charger. This is yours? Yeah. Oh, that's the one that goes fast. Yeah, you put your, you can put your charger on there. I'm good. Um, so do you do you want to do a Starbucks break? We're taking we're taking we're the TikTok Starbucks. break. We're talking TikTok. We're talking all things TikTok. So we're taking a TikTok boot camp break, um, <laughs> and we're gonna go to Starbucks. What are we getting? I got a 
gotta get an iced black coffee. Oh, nice. No nice. sugar, no cream. I don't know what I'm getting. Oh, you know what? Am I gonna do the you know no. I can't do the frappuccino. I'm seeing my doctor tomorrow, so <laughs> I'll, I'll do the pink treat. What are you seeing the doctor for? I'm, oh I'm gonna tell your blog people. Let's get into that. I was supposed to No, they know about my my, my doctor's medical office. History. No, not my medical history. <laughs> but they know about my doctor's office and the drama that I've been going through. So, guess what? I didn't see my doctor today. Guess why I did not see her? Because she had three patients in front of me and they were running late and they could not tell me when she was going to be available. Of course they didn't call me. Of course they didn't call me. I'm telling you, the, the receptionists that work at my doctor's office, all beauty, and that's it. Oh. The brains, <laughs> gone. Let's get our Starbucks. Cross, step out, cross, step out. And the hands are pushing down. Yeah, pop, cut up. Yeah. Come on, Kathy, dance, Kathy! Yes! Uh-huh, that's it. Period! That's the first step. No, but there's more. It's just not a step. Yeah, I know, I know. You are so fine, so fine. Pop, boom, pop. Ooh, and that could be really anything. I forget what I did in the video. So my mom was hijacked. Uh, TikTok boot camp. So it's all about her now. Still in boot camp. But why did Bobby change his name? This she don't know the words. Ew, bonjour, bonjour. It's another day in sunny LA. It finally got hot. We um, what we doing today? We are gonna go around the Nordstrom and act bougie. <laughs> go around the Nordstroms and act bougie. Then you know it's Saturday, so your girl gotta your girl gotta go run some errands. You know what I mean? So that's what we doing today. Um, errands or errands? Errands. <laughs> Excuse you. Errands. I'm from Philly. Uh, so we're gonna run some errands. Costco will not be a part of this trip. You know what? I won't say that. Cause I always you know what? No, Costco is a part of I'm not going. I'm not going. I Child, go. that is my life. You know what? I might no, I gotta go to Costco. I have to go to Costco. Okay, yeah, so that's the day. Please that's the day the day. I might be doing some different things. That's just how the day goes. So come on and go with me. Why are you speeding? Please drop me off. I do not want to go to Costco. I didn't invite you. Yeah, I'll definitely. I invited the Star family. Stay in your lane. Stop swerving. See you at Nordstrom. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why it's great to live in L.A. Because, look at this. I've never seen a Rolls Royce truck before. It's actually really cute. I feel like the other, I don't know if it's called a coupe, hatchback, or whatever. I feel like those cars are a bit obnoxious. But, I, for some reason, I'm feeling a truck. It's cute. Y'all, look at my hair. <laughs> this is why I do not wear hairstyles, like with my like natural hair in the summer in LA. Like, look at this, girl. It was so cute and soft this morning. Anyway, um, the Nordstrom event that we went to was really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, my sister actually um, is friends with uh, one of the ladies who works there in the skincare department. And she invited us out, you know, to have bodies there. And we like her, you know, that's our, that's our good Judy. So we just wanted to support her. And we ended up having a good time. We ended up having a really good time. We, um, this new skincare brand. 
sorry. I got to call my sisters. Both of my sisters are sick. Um, not, not with dad. Girl, we've all been tested for that. So they're fine. But I'm like running errands for them as well. Getting, you know, their ginger ale and their soup and all of that stuff. Uh, but anyway, it turned out to be a really, really nice event. We learned about this brand called Ar Arcana. Arcana. Hope you can see it. Yeah, really cool brand, really cool makeup brand. Um, she works on, uh, the brand owner was there. I believe her name is Chanel. She works with a lot of celebrities, does a lot of um, celebrity skincare. She works uh, particularly on movie sets. She piqued our interest when she said that one of her clients was Regina King and the other client was Nia Long. And my sister was like, I love Nia Long's skin. So, you know, we tuned in to listen a bit more when she said that. She ended up being very sweet. Very informative, learned a lot. She finally got my mom to uh, get into skincare because I've been begging my mom to get into skincare, but she really had a lot of um, a lot of examples on how sunscreen is beneficial. So that really like got my mom intrigued. And now, you know, she can really get on the skincare band bandwagon and really start taking care of her skin. Cause my mom looks great, right? And she's like, well, I look great. I don't need to do anything. I'm like, no, honey. You need to do, do something. So listening to like an esthetician, somebody who works on, you know, celebrities that she, whose faces, whose skin that she loves, she, you know, she listened in. So we're actually going to go back in August because she's doing another event at Nordstrom, uh, Nordstrom's. And she's doing uh, these facials, like these sculpt, sculpting and contour facials. She's doing those. Another cool thing about her is that like out of nowhere she just mentioned Tina Marie when she was talking to us about the product and we were like what you know about Tina Marie right like only only us knows and you know hold Tina Marie uh, near and dear in our heart and when we talked to her one on one she was just like I'm a huge fan of Tina Marie so much of a fan. I named one of my sheet masks after her and when she said this name I was just like this is why I locked in on this sheet mask because that's what I was going to get today and this is the sheet mask it's called Star Child she named her sheet mask after one of Tina Marie's songs called Star Child I'm like I'm Tina Marie's biggest fan and you are so sweet I love your skincare so we're invested in her we are invested in Chanel we follow each other on Instagram uh, speaking of sunscreen my sunscreen is doing what it needs to be done. But we ended up having a really good time. Like my family and I always go, go to the uh, Nordstrom events because we live so close to there, right? We can literally walk there, right? But we only normally go, at least for me, I only normally go during the holiday season, right? Because Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's have amazing holiday events during the holiday season at their store. So that's when I normally go. I don't go during the off season, but I'm glad I went today. I'm glad I went today. Uh, hopefully she could be my esthetician because you know that's what I've been searching for out here in LA. Um, but I got this sheet mask from her and this uh, cleansing duo from her. It's the Purely Beautiful Skin by Arcana Los Angeles. So it's their cleanser and moisturizer duo it's called White Ice, Magic White Ice. And here is the uh, cleanser, exfoliating, exfoliating mask to be accurate. So yeah, I'm gonna do this tomorrow. I'm gonna do this little cleansing duo tomorrow and see how it works, see how it works. Anyway, I had to go to Trader Joe's because I had got their um, jerk chicken burrito and it was garbage. I could not even eat it. And then my sister got their dunkers, these uh, cookie dunkers. That chocolate chip cookie dunkers that made her sick so I returned those but guys I was actually able to get the buttermilk brined uh, half chicken breast that everybody on TikTok has been raving about so I was actually able to get that um, I'm going to season that and cook it tomorrow because today I'm at Handy's I'm getting my ribs again I'm getting my ribs again my mom got some chicken wings and fries listen we're gonna have a good little barbecue Saturday so anyway I'm burning up let me go out and get my Handy's and I'll see you home bye I've said I'm filming you gonna put your behind it excuse me oh my goodness I said I'm filming you just gonna jump in free I didn't say I was filming you I can't believe they got rid of the mask. Oh my gosh, yes. This is so cool. Ooh. As soon as I come over here, everybody wanna come over here. 
I feel like people really like being on camera. I really, really do because nobody was over here. And then as soon as I put my camera up, here comes everybody. Anyway, uh, I told you that my sister like got really sick from something she had at Trader Joe's. So after I returned everything and got my ribs from Handy's, I um, I had to come here and get them like some ginger ale and then I had to get something for my sister's stomach. But I was on TikTok right before I came here and I realized that, or somebody posted a video with her, um, a TikTok with her wearing the Tabitha Brown collection. I was like, you know what? I wonder if it's out at my local Target. I feel like my local Target is always so late with stuff. So I wasn't sure, but I came here and they do have some stuff. They do have some stuff. So I'm going to look through this rack to see what I like. I feel like I'm, I might be into the dresses more than anything else because my thighs touch and short, the shorts and pants sets don't really look good on me because my thighs touch and I got no hips. Eh, doesn't matter. I'm pretty and I got big titties. Anyway, speaking of my big titties, I am not sure how these dresses are going to look on me and that is the only thing about my body shape. It's like with certain dresses, I'll either be given like seventh trimester. Is there a seventh trimester? You know, pregnancy or mammy. So, I, you know, certain dresses make me look that way. Rarely do I ever look sexy. So, I'm going to see. What the hell? I'm going to see which ones I like and then try them on. So, let's go. See, this is like one of the things that I've seen that I've been able to see in my size. And I don't know already because this neck stuff, this neck, these never work on me because of my breasts. They never work on me. Like collarless, collarless shirts or dresses never look good on me. And this is the only one in my size. One thing, let me tell you something. One thing about big girls, they go shopping first. They go shopping first. Or maybe companies don't make enough in our size. But I feel like Tabitha is so inclusive, she would have made enough big girl sizes. Because I feel like this is big girl friendly. You know what I mean? So 911, nothing that I like is in my size. Nothing. So I'm gonna try this side. Although I didn't see any of these dresses here that I like, but I just want to see if my size is available. <sighs> I'm getting defeated. Okay, so nothing that I like is in my size. But I did see what I like. So what I want to do is go either look on the Target app or look on Target online and see if I can find the dress that I want in my size local because there's another Target like two miles away from this one and then another one in Burbank. Um, I think two in Burbank actually. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go, you know, check and see, but yeah. So far, not a good look for me. And the pride selection, Basura. What's going on Target? Y'all normally got cute pride stuff. Anyway, let me get home. So we're back in TikTok boot camp. Mama is going over her combination for tomorrow because tomorrow is showtime. That is the day where her and Drew the Vibes are filming uh, their video. <laughs> We're downstairs going over uh, her combination and she's killing it. Very, very, um, very, very proud of her. I'm just sitting here being, you know, Drew's um, assistant, on-call assistant, while uh, he's not here, reading Tabitha's magazine, which is really cute. Really, I didn't see these earrings. I don't like these. But I'm just looking inside, reading her message. Look at her. From TikTok to Target. I just realized I have this hat on that I did not tell you guys. So you know my hair has been a mess. My hair has been a mess. I've been trying out different styles. The weather is, you know, not gonna let my hair be great. So I'm trying a flat twist style right now. I have my little do-rag on, laying everything down. I'm gonna try that tomorrow, see how that works. If nothing works, I'm going back to my afro. Also, while I wait, I um, was in the market and I saw this. So you know, wait, let me focus. See if it focus, focus. So this is Cream Malicious. This is, hold on. Cream Malicious, thick as these pecan pie. So you know, um, in Atlanta, I had the, what was it? The sweet potato pie one that she had. This is uh, the black owned ice cream brand that everybody was going crazy about because of Juneteenth. But I was hip to it months ago <laughs> because I was looking for, you know, um, uh, dairy free ice cream and I found this and I thought it was dairy free, but when I went to go try it, it wasn't, but I loved it. The flavors are so good. So I'm gonna try this, 
and see if it works for me. Not really into pecan pie, but that sweet potato pie ice cream that she made was so good. I'm like, I'm gonna try all the flavors except for banana pudding. I know I'm not gonna like that because I don't like banana pudding, but that is something that I want my sisters to try because they love banana pudding. But let me give this a shot and see if it's worth the hype. I think it will be. <laughs> So this is really good. It um, it tastes like butter pecan, to be quite honest with you. It tastes like an elevated butter pecan. So if you like butter pecan ice cream, I highly uh, recommend the Creamalicious Thickest Thieves Pecan. Oh, oh, hold on. Pecan pie. It's really good. A little sweet, but it's ice cream. Not gonna be able to finish it in one go. I'm probably gonna just give myself a little treats of this throughout the week. But this is really good. I prefer the sweet potato one, the sweet potato ice cream, a sweet potato pie ice cream that she has. But this is a good second. This is a good second. So far, so good. So far, every one that I've tried, so far the two that I have tried have been knockout. So, highly recommend it. Black on brand. Get it, mama! Party. Hey!